a Twitter uh, account. If you, I'm, it was at the whole Mars catalog, yeah. Bradley. And they posted this video, um, which as a pedestrian, somebody who walks to work most days, mm -hmm. uh, makes me want to um, carry, uh, you know, something to break glass of Tesla's. <laughs> um, <laughs> because this is horrifying to me. Um, it's this video here. And just to um, it, go, scroll to the top. Oh, oh, wait, is this the very first one? Mm, yeah, it's the yeah. top one here. So. This f the first, uh, let me read the top there. One of the uh, most bullish, exciting things I've seen on Tesla full self-driving beta 11.4.1. It detected the pedestrian, but rather than slamming on the brakes, it proceeded through like a human would, knowing there was enough time to do so. Uh, That's not what a human would First do. of all, that is a human... A human is different than your beta tested 11.41 software, okay? Um, like, and, what do you mean like a human would do? A human might swerve and hit something, but that's not what the car is going to do. Like, uh, it's going to plow through the person? Well, no, no, but I mean, what they're saying is, is like, so the, it, it detected right, the this. person in the crosswalk, and instead of stopping, it noted that it could beat the person through the crosswalk mm. and continued. Oh! Oh, right. yes. okay. Okay, getting that. And I right. would just say that mode. I'm not super comfortable with the way people in New York City, people, not robots, people make that decision in New York City. I am damn sure not comfortable with Elon Musk's uh, beta uh, software uh, scrolling. So let's go down a little bit more, Bradley. Oh, sorry. Also, this is a this is a this is a company. If this is an actual feature, like if this is actually like a feature that Tesla is putting out there, saying like, no longer will you have to wait as someone is in the crosswalk. If you th you know if the car thinks it can make it in time, it'll just go. If yeah. that's an actual feature from Tesla, they're going to have some legal problems on their hands because in a lot of places in the United States, I know for one in New York City, it is against the law to not yield for a pedestrian, even right. if that pedestrian is not directly in front of your car. The second someone is in that crosswalk, you actually do, under the law, have to stop for them to proceed to walk past you. Even if they are crossing, even if you're on one lane and they're crossing from the other side where the sidewalk is, yep. then yes. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what this is boasting about is that the robot can now break the law in the common way that humans do. <laughs> yes, yeah. And, and right. Without any kind of, I mean, I don't know, nuance associated with it. Not that humans should be doing this, but the car should be, if they're creating some sort of algorithm or robotic, should be... Do it, erring on the side of caution, not of speeding up so you can exactly. clear the pedestrian. Like, and, and so I'll just, this, this final thing here, a lot of people who don't live in cities, uh, I, we all live in cities, okay? A lot of people who don't live in cities aren't getting this. What this asshole means is a lot of people who live in suburbs and drive in cities. A lot of people who don't live in cities aren't getting this. In places like San Francisco, pedestrians enter the crosswalk before you've completely crossed rather than waiting. Old behavior is it would stop in the crosswalk. This is wrong. Continuing forward is right. No. The behavior that is wrong is using... Uh, this still in testing by your own admission uh, software in urban areas at all, let alone going through crosswalks. This stuff should be illegal. This 100%. should not be allowed on the road. Like, let, like I, I think it's it shouldn't be illegal like on rural highways and stuff like that. But the idea that people are using autopilot in air, urban areas where there is a lot of foot traffic is psychopathic and it shouldn't be allowed. We should have regulations against this stuff. I feel like a few weeks ago, uh, there was a video going around, not weeks ago, probably months ago now, where the Tesla driver was lauding their car for like doing a rolling stop, like rolling through a stop sign without stopping. And people were like, oh, great. You're like, they're teaching AI to be more natural drivers. Like, no, this is also illegal. Like, I, I think that, you know, it for me, it also shows how bad a grasp of you know, the rules of the road most drivers have to, that they would be like celebrating, at least, you know, Tesla fans would be celebrating that cars can now break laws in the way that humans can because of like, what is essentially convenience? Because people who drive cars act like it is an over, you would say, overly burdensome for to expect them to come to a full stop once they've gotten up to like speed. And you're like, what? Yeah. Like, you know, come on. And the implication there is that if you don't want to get clipped by an autom or killed by a self-driving automatic Tesla, then just don't jaywalk, right? Obey, ob yeah, yeah. Ob 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 abide by the law as if 
it's the it's on the onus of the pedestrian not the person driving the vehicle that has the capacity to kill others to cool. make that determination but i guess it's not them driving it is it is the the self-driving nature of it and again we already know by the way how far away true self-driving technology is a lot of what this does is it just is free advertising for investment money especially yes. at a time when tesla desperately needs it precisely all uh, when it, when people say that uh Elon Musk's prediction was wrong about self-driving. Well, the prediction was made not because he it was trying to accurately assess yes. like the technology. It was because he needed uh, invest the stupid ass investor class, which decides all of our economic priorities in this country, uh, to get their wallets out. Um, and uh, but here's this uh, headline from a few uh, days ago, which a lot of Tesla fans got really uh, anxious to defend. Tesla recalls virtually every car it has sold in China. Um, and if you scroll down just to the third tweet there, um, uh, so, uh, and the sorry, Tesla investors. Yeah. Nope. The next Bottom one there. Line. Yeah. Yeah. Masterful um, chess move, Mr. So Musk. The defense, <laughs> the defense that people make of this is that actually it's just a firmware update. Um, and I'll put it back up. Yeah. Um, it's just a firmware update and this isn't really that big of a thing. They actually made the same firmware update in America. So, and now we're just calling firmware updates, uh, recalls. That's, um, I think in, in a certain sense, uh, accurate enough if it doesn't tell you the whole story, because I, I do think like, um, these things are allowed to be like software is leading to a situation where they're shipped out before uh, things are ready and you're allowed to fix it in a, in a more over the air way, as I said. But what's actually happened here is uh, uh, the, the reason for this recall is that starting in January 2021, both Tesla Model 3 and Model Y delivered in China removed the lightest option for regenerative braking, essentially forcing drivers to adapt to its single pedal driving logic. The Model 3 produced in 2022 has always had this option. While this is seen as increasing the range of the vehicle, it has been criticized by many, especially those previously used to driving fuel cars, which is, I would say, most drivers most in 2023. Yeah. It is in the so-called single pedal mode, the driver depresses the accelerator pedal to accelerate the vehicle, and when the accelerator pedal is released, the vehicle slows down significantly, unlike the driving experience of a fuel car. Now, you can see why that would be a problem, um, and you wouldn't just want to uh, force that onto people people who are uh, right. haven't been used to this kind of driving because it is entirely the opposite intuition of normal driving you don't just coast you start braking and they had to recall that with that update because it was a safety liability because it turns out that actually forcing people to adapt to your fancy new thing just like you can search elon tried to do this like stupid f1 style steering wheel and like car and driver magazine is like this is un like not functional and they're and I, what, I, what i'm saying is both China and America need to stand up to this asshole because he is playing with people's lives with this stupid like and, and this idea this move fast break things you're breaking human bodies and, and lives yeah and like it, this should absolutely not be accepted by governments and, and and we're seeing this kind of blowback right now and it's been adopted by some car companies in the United States to get rid of these touch screens and things like CarPlay with massive which they've shown distracts people more in some instances than drunk the driving knobs. and right. then uh with people being literally on their phones because it's like a tv in the front screen that will read out your text to you or that you everybody have to push. knows this who's used them too. everybody I, when you get i've got i don't have a car but when i get rental cars i'm like how is this not the Dangerous. biggest distraction yeah. of all time so there there's beginning to be a reckoning with this do it now. This is even way more obviously dangerous and just designed to attract, I don't know, venture capital, but it's like, just do it now and regulate it before we kill more people. Before you kill somebody that is enough of a PR problem where you actually have to act. Because like there are accidents with this stuff. You see <laughs> these things fly down streets and it's like, uh, okay, we'll just do an over-the-air update after that person smashed into a wall. Yeah. Well, t Tesla used to have a feature that they literally promoted this feature as a rolling uh, rolling through a stop sign feature where you no longer <laughs> had to come to a full... I'm not even joking. I know it's right. hilarious. Like yeah. It's the most basic thing you're taught in driving driver's education that you cannot roll through a stop sign you need to come to a full stop, stop. yeah and tesla came out with a feature where the car would just slow down and roll through the stop sign and they promoted it and then the, the you know the uh, the agency the nh uh, what is it called again the nht tsa they came out and said yeah i can't do that and they had to roll out a firmware update a big recall 
that took that feature away because you cannot roll through a stop sign. Like these. We need more authoritarianism, though. Like that shouldn't have been. That needs that. Like that should need to go through five years of bureaucratic uh, bullshit before it even gets to the street. It, it did. I mean, and and Elon. I'm reading this Times article about the touch screens um, as we talk about this a little bit. This all started with him, too. When Elon unveiled the Tesla Model S in 2009, the command center with its 17-inch LCD touchscreen seemed nearly as game-changing as the car itself. And in giving drivers digital control of automated functions, Tesla was able to avoid the expense of engineering, wiring, and building a cabin full of pricey analog switches, knobs, and gauges, or having to buy them from another automaker or supplier. In Tesla's bare bones, blah, blah, blah. And then, essentially, the BMW uh, follows suit, putting their touchscreen in for uh all of that stuff so like there it's this this silicon valley centered push to make cars these command centers where you're inside of, a, of an ipad essentially that has nothing to do with safety cars are already deeply unsafe we need to be doing yes. have it creating less cars and more um public transportation and yet the people driving some of these discussions and it being copied by more traditional automakers want it to be the uh, the vision created by tech psychos like like Elon Musk. It's dangerous. Um, we should have Paris. Mount people Mark, like on. search for the uh, Tesla steering yoke um, where he like he like like the look of a, uh, a steering wheel, but didn't realize like actually there's a reason that these are round particularly like when you take turns and need to use <laughs> like yeah. um, uh, more of the steering wheel than like the sides of it and I, I just think like it, it, it's so funny like look at all these even like Tesla or, or tech YouTubers like Tesla yoke steering wheel do I regret it like basically people trying to talk themselves into this mo this absolute this life hack for driving a vehicle that could kill yourself or other people yeah <laughs> and it's like just to make yourself look cool <laughs> Life hack, kill this pedestrian. Well, if you do kill a pedestrian, you know, it's going to be on you, not Tesla. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, that's in the little thing they have you sign. Yeah, read Which I think less people would be, you know, as cavalier about if they realize, like, no, if you hit that guy in AI mode, you hit that guy and you're mm -hmm. the one who's going to go to jail. And, you know, like, they'll just roll out a firmware <laughs> update. 